Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew. I'm in the kitchen prepping up some food after my workout. I got some creamer potatoes. The best, highly recommended. I'm a Costco fanatic. Um, I've got everything I'm cooking right now. It's probably from Costco. But uh, I'm on day two of my 30-day uh, plant-based challenge. And I'm just going to be prepping stuff right now and talking to you at the same time. I'll show you what I'm making. It's pretty close to what I ate yesterday. Uh, if there's one thing about me, it's I uh, definitely am a man of habit. And uh, I like to eat the same stuff, you know, work out at the same time, go to work the same days. You know, almost everyone does that. But, like, uh, I like to nap. I like to do things. But uh, I'm hoping with my plant-based challenge... I can my eyes up to maybe some more um, different options of foods and stuff like that. So I'm hoping some people will comment some good options. Um, meat and the little potatoes. Some organic cauliflower rice. Oh, man, that stuff is good. What up, Curtis? Uh, got some broccolette, the cousin of broccolini. Shout out to Sugary Six Pack. Um, we're hooked on broccolini. And broccolette was the closest thing they had there. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to be prepping some stuff up and talking about it while I do it. Um, I'm just, you know, I don't know why it's, uh, hey, yeah, organic cauliflower rice, that junk is good. Cook it up with some coconut oil and some salt and pepper, maybe a little garlic salt, maybe a little just real organic garlic. Man, junk is good. Um, I'm just wondering why sometimes it's so hard to, like, to just start doing stuff and taking action. For me, I know it's hard. That's why I give myself like a challenge, this 30-day challenge for my 30-day plant-based challenge. It's just something that gets me motivated. I mean, I know my birthday is coming up, and I like to do that for myself to give myself a birthday challenge. But whatever works for you to get going, to get taking action, man, just do it. Just do it. This, listen, I love eating terrible. I love eating crap food. But I feel like this is going to help for my challenge for you know, making me feel better, making me get in better shape, being healthy from the inside out. Um, hopefully that means my skin gets healthier from the inside out. And uh, yeah, I'm just hoping to all around feel better. Right now, I feel worse because uh, my energy is super low. I just went to the gym. And also, just having a smoothie and not having like um, some like crazy carbs or anything right before the gym kind of hurts. So maybe I'll change that up. Maybe get a little more carb heavy, but like good carbs, maybe like potatoes or maybe even just like a Lara bar or something like that, a banana, something that gets good carbs. Um, also, I just got this new book. I know I'm going off on a tangent here. New book, uh, Mom Recommended, How to Be a Bouse. Um, yeah, so we're going to see how it goes. Lily Singh, I hope your book is good. I'm going to be singing your praises, hopefully. So, okay, class, look what I'm showing here. Uh, yeah, so got a new book, How to Be a Baus by Lily Singh. I want to sing the praises. Hopefully it's good. We'll see. I just finished 48 Days of the Work You Love. Uh, for all of you that just got on, I'm prepping up my food, my creamer potatoes, organic cauliflower rice, broccolette, some uh, Costco guacamole, holy guacamole organic minis. Uh, what up, Ricky, Lauren? Hey, guys. Thanks for getting on. Um, yeah, so I also got my black bean burger back here, uh, organic black beans, got like, uh, corn, carrots, mushrooms, it's just like a veggie patty as a, uh, replacement to what I was eating, like turkey burgers and beef burgers and all that, um, oh good, I'm glad the book is excellent and not just good, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely, definitely hope to, uh, get it done and read it quick. Man, Ricky, you know I can't eat Charlie's right now. Charlie's is not on my plant-based cleanse. But I will be coming back to Charlie's sometime soon. I know the Burbank Mall one was a little bit, uh, I think they were remodeling it or something. So I tried to go a couple, maybe like a month or two back. But I haven't checked in a while. So hopefully you're back to work there. And uh, I know Clay saw you somewhere. So, um, But yeah, man, I hope you're doing well. But yeah, so I'm just meal prepping and uh, just... Back to talking about taking action on stuff. Um, there's some things that are easier to take action on than others. I mean, like, you know, for this plant-based challenge. Uh, oh, she don't work at Charles anymore? Dang. 
Well, you're going to have to let me know. DM me or something. Tell me where you're at. I'm going to come find you. But, uh, you know, there's something about taking action with different, um, different uh, sections of your life. Like the fitness one, um, for some people it's hard. For some people it's easier. I mean, I got a pretty fit family. Uh, mom, dad, brother, my sister is the most fit in the family. But So it's pretty inspiring and challenging. You want to keep up. What's up, Tyon? Um, you know, when you're in a family like that, you want to keep up. You want to be able to be uh you know i want to keep up it's like second place second place is what i strive for with my sister um i wouldn't always recommend for striving for second place in life but uh when your sister is insta famous and has a fitness blog and is one of the most fit people you've ever met second place as fit in the family is a, is a good place to strive for but uh yeah so i mean taking on the the eating stuff is hard for me that's why i'm doing it um taking action on the videos is hard for me that's why i'm doing it um, I just don't want to be in the same place I was last year that, I mean, not last year, uh, next year that I am today. And, uh, there's only one thing you can do. You can be the student, you can, uh, read about it, you can learn about it, you can buy all the courses and books and products and everything that you want. But if you don't use them and you don't take action on them, they're no good to you. It's just money spent, you know? Um, so my thing is, I want to stop being the student. Gary V always says this, you know, he's like, he's like, there's only so much you could be the student before you go and have to take action. I mean, the only way that you actually start to reach those goals and dreams that you get from being the student, from reading about, you know, bettering yourself, from having those dreams and goals and all that, the only way you get there is to start doing it. And my thing is, I feel like if I feel good in my mind, in my body, body um with my health if my you know with my physical appearance because my skin's been crazy on me um i feel like that's just a great step in the right direction to uh get me going if i feel good you know with my faith with my uh with my work with my passion if i'm chasing my dreams all of that so you know you just have to work on uh work on it every day just do something for it every day yes this um Meal prepping is time consuming. I feel like it, oh man, it takes a lot of my time. Why don't I just go get fast food? Well, fast food is not going to make me A, feel good. B, it's not going to make my wallet look good. Meal prepping is one of those things that can uh, save you a lot of money. Going to Costco, I got a Costco membership. And, uh, you know, it might feel like it's expensive up front. But add that up if you make all three meals, three to five, whatever amount of meals that you have. Sorry, I got, I'm prepping potatoes not to, don't get scared of my knife in the, in the video. Um, you know, if you meal prep and like I spent like $160 at Costco or something like that, but like if that lasts me, what, a couple weeks, like three weeks for three meals a day, like that's, that's pretty good. That's like what, 21, I don't know, I can't do math right now, 263, like that's like three bucks a meal or something like that. That's still cheaper than anything you're going to get at fast food. And your body, mind, spirit, soul, everything is going to love you so much more when you start feeling better about that. Um, but yeah, so the taking action, I mean, you just got to go for it. I mean, this, the only reason, the, one of the big reasons I do videos, um, uh, do my videos and oh, thanks Tyon. I appreciate you man. Hey get that get that fresh lineup get that there you go get it um, The one reason I do the videos is because it keeps me on track and it uh, you know keeps somebody else knowing that I'm doing this so it, it keeps me accountable. and um, Keeping yourself accountable having people to keep you accountable is huge um, It helps you to keep going on your goals Especially in those dark times when you're scared or when you just are like, ah, I just want to sleep all day. Or, man, I don't need to do that today. I could get to it tomorrow. But listen, some people don't get tomorrow. Some people, you know, don't get to wake up tomorrow and have the life that you have. Um, so, you know, the live like you were dying, Tim McGraw always comes to mind. And it's like, why not? Why not just do, do the things you wanted to do? Um, chase those dreams. Who knows? It could, you know, it could get you somewhere tomorrow. It could uh, six months from now, a year from now, five years from now, and you'll be so happy that you did. Or, you know, if you're, you're, uh, you know, some people don't have that day, but if they spent their time trying to get there, 
then they died a happy man, happy woman, you know? So, that's my message today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish prepping my stuff. I just, cutting potatoes always takes the longest, and so I figured if I could get a little motivation out there, a little bit of, um, little bit of video out there, and uh, just to talk, just to get it out there and do it, um, it would help me kill two birds with one stone, keep me on track, and yeah. So, I'm going to go and finish cooking. And, uh, hey, what's up, Alex? And, uh, yeah, I'm going to cook that, prep my smoothie for later, and then hopefully get some good snacks prepared and maybe cook enough to bring a smoothie and a meal to work because work is where work is where it's going to crush me at first base. Um, they just have so much good food, and they love me over there. They'll cook for me. <laughs> um, you know, if you're good to people, people will be good to you. And so they just have such good food. And so it's so hard. But um, yeah, so I will. Yeah, I'll definitely post a picture of my meal today. And I'm um, definitely going to post. I got to post these pictures. Man, it's it's killing me. I don't want to post these pictures of my face of how bad it looked when it flared up. But that's going to keep me on track, too, because I don't want my face to flare up like that anymore. So uh, yeah, I will post up my meal after I'm done with it. I'll post up my smoothie stuff and, uh, yeah, I'll post those on the face as well. So, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to finish this up and cool. So, I'll see you guys probably later today or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, stay tuned. Share, like, comment. Tell me what else you want to see, what you want to hear, um, whether it's with the 30-day challenge with motivational videos, with acting stuff. I'm down to talk about it all, you know? So let's just talk. Let's, let's get after it. So, all right then. I'll see you guys later.